hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video we're gonna try to wrap a uh, meta human body around the character creator for body and uh, keep the face and head of the meta human just the body right so we will open first of all uh, we will work with irene full body we did the uh, we exported this uh, full body in a preview video and uh, we will uh, also work with Camilla. This is uh, the default uh, female character in uh, Character Creator 4, right? So in order to get started, we have to select our skeletal mesh, our metahuman full body, and open Mesh Morpher. Now that uh, our full body is opened, we go to Tools and Create from Mesh. We select Camilla as Source Mesh and just create a new uh, morph target name enable the wrapper and just make sure you use for the for the moment the default uh, settings and now we have our uh, skeletal meshes in their viewports and we can see there is a huge misalignment between them uh, the character creator for uh, mesh is way behind. Uh, it's smaller. The hands are not aligned, and uh, we have to fix this. Fix this if we want to create a morph target. So, in order to do this, uh, go to uh, the side panel here and enable bone alignment. Now we can move bones around. And we have to move from the source, uh, from the right side. We have to match the source to the target. Our, our target is Irene because we want to create a morph target on the target. And the source is Camilla, right? So uh, we have to first align uh, Camilla. Try to bring her in front. Maybe not that much. You can also, when you select the bone, you can also change manually uh, the transformation here, position, rotation, and scale. You can also select uh, bones uh, from this uh, tree view. Uh, this comes very handy when you have overlapping bones uh, in uh, the viewport, and uh, sometimes it's very difficult to select them. And uh, yeah, now let's uh, let's try to align uh, the arm, or maybe we have to scale a little bit uh, Camilla so it she matches uh, Irene. So let's uh, let's try to go 1.03, 1.03, and the height. Maybe 1.02. No, it's too much, I think. I think 1.01 is fine. And uh, we have her feet uh, going through the ground and we have to bring it up a little bit. Just above the ground. I think this is... This is enough, probably. Okay. And now comes the front part. We need to align uh, the arms, the, the legs. We need to align everything. So we have to select the bones and try to align wherever we have limbs, right? And we have to match them as much as possible. I think this is good enough. Or let's go in this other side. I think this is also good enough. So we have uh, the legs uh, fixed. Okay. And now we have to fix the arm. Definitely we have to bring this a little bit down. And maybe a little bit forward. OK, 
think this should be it. And now we have to use uh, the lower arm and try to bring it as close as possible. Try to overlap it as good as we can. The wrapper will do a lot of work, but we need to fix this as much as possible. Maybe, maybe a little bit down. As I said, the wrapper will do a lot of heavy lifting and we care. Uh, we, we can uh, restore the fingers to have the body of the uh, character creator for Camilla and uh, have the metahuman fingers. And uh, if we want to do this, we have to match the wrist as much as possible, right? So this area is very important. Depends on what you plan to do, but that area is very important. I'm going to do only this uh, side of uh, uh, the metahuman. Uh, I just want to show you the difference, how the wrapper would work if we don't align, uh, bone align uh, the meshes. We will use the right side for, uh, we have a problem here, I think. I think this is much better. You can also go individually by by finger. You can do whatever you want. The more time you spend in it, the better it becomes, right? So keep that in mind. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to just uh, try to do it as fast as possible. And uh, I think this is it for this, uh, for this bone alignment. Let's test it out. We can test it out. We just press OK. It's gonna take a little bit for uh, this uh, wrapping to to be done. So see you in a bit. Okay, the morph target has been created. Let's uh, check it out. Camilla knew it's uh, the morph target. Let's open it. So this is it. This is the morph target. These are the fingers. They look pretty well, uh, considering that we haven't spent any time with them. The fit looks also very okay. The face. I think uh, we have a pretty good result. And uh, where we haven't uh, aligned the, the bones, this is how it looks. The wrapper will get uh, very confused with the fingers and everything. And uh, consider, it, consider it that... Uh, we we didn't uh, uh, align the bones in this side. Uh, see the this uh, gap between uh, between uh, the hands. This is uh, our Irene. The blue reference mesh here on uh, the source one is uh, Irene. This is Camilla, and uh, you see there is a huge huge difference. That's why we uh, couldn't get any proper result on the left side, but on the right side. Uh, since we aligned the bones correctly, I mean, uh, pretty correctly, uh, we didn't spend too much time with it, but uh, we still got a great result, a usable result, right? So now that uh, we we created uh, this uh, morph target, we can even do something cool. We can restore her of face and use Camilla body with uh, uh, Irene uh, face, right? So let's restore. I think we should uh, use a smaller uh, brush size so we don't do anything stupid around here. Let's do it maybe like this. You can restore Camilla's uh, face and just use the body, right? So once uh, we do this, we can copy this morph target to the metahuman skeletal mesh to uh, to the actual uh, meshes, right? So let me just finish a little bit. 
this work here. We can do it, however, in the, in uh, the original uh, metahuman uh, skeletal mesh. But uh, let's do complete uh, as uh, fast as we can here. Some some uh, restoring. I think it's fine like this. Let's uh, let's uh, copy them. Add two new elements and select Irene. And we have to copy this morph target to Irene, Irene face mesh and Irene tall normal weight body right we will keep this name no smoothing and press ok it's gonna take a little bit okay And now let's see how it looks on the actual skeletal mesh. We, we still have some restoring to do. Her mouth is a little bit... Uh, you can see we have, there's still stuff to fix, to restore and uh, make it... Uh, give it some uh, fine-tuning, right? So. Just to spend a little bit time more with this. I think this is enough for our demonstration purpose here for our tutorial. And now let's see how it looks in the blueprint when we bring together uh, the skeletal meshes with the morph target enabled. Right? So let's open Irene. And we have Camila Neal. I think this was the name. Yeah, this is how it looks. As you can see, uh, it blends correctly. The head with the body, it looks fine. And yeah, this is it, guys, for this video. And see you around. Bye.